All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Ancestral Diversity Quest. Now, you guys may or may not have already played this quest, but if you have, you will know that this quest has a ton of loot in it, and it's very good for farming. I used this quest, and I got 500 gold from this quest. I started off with 600 gold, and now I have 1,100 gold. So, I got a ton of gold from this quest. I got 25 lock picks which is what I calculated and then I got a bunch of enchanted armor that I was able to sell and I was also able to equip some of it onto my character so this is a very good quest for leveling up getting gold and just in general helping you out it's a it's a big deal I really think it's one of the better quests for a low level in this entire game so let's get straight into it so first things first you need to go to Dreloth ancestral tomb which is by the halls of fabrication now you will find this if you happen to see Elf Betta just standing there looking clueless. You can ask her about what she's doing. She'll say that her master Narciss Drin just happens to be stuck in this tomb and he has not come out for several hours and she does not know his location. Now you can go into the tomb and you'll find him simply standing there waiting for someone to assist him. Now if you talk to him, you will soon realize that he has been spoke and he cannot carry on his work of traveling through this tomb until he has not been spooked. Before I could begin my investigation, however, that creature over there appeared to harass me. So if you ask him about this creature, you can go and look at it, but it turns out that it's just the shadow of a creature that's scaring him. It's really just a spider eating a scamp. And now it's not necessarily the spider or the scamp that scared him in the first place. It was a combination. But after this, you can talk to him, and then you can go and explore the tomb. So you are about to realize that his intention is that he wants to find treasure in this ancient burial tomb. Now, he hopes to find family treasure that was hidden away from everyone else to find. Now, the key thing about this tomb that I want you to do is I want you to look in every little nook and cranny that you possibly can it is very important that you're looking in absolutely every single urn every single lock box every shoe single jewelry box it's extremely important that you're looking through all of these it's very common to find lock picks or simply ash or nod bones which can all be sold it might not necessarily be the most common thing to sell but it can be sold and it turns into a lot of money quick if you're collecting everything now since it stacks, if you're getting a bunch of ash, you can just have one slot filled up. I think it's a really nice addition to have. Now, when you go back and talk to him, you tell him that this might not be the right place because there's no treasure. And he gets frustrated with you and he says, oh, are you questioning my expertise? Which, and realistically, he was looking at the wrong one. And he finds his notes and he realizes that it was the wrong tomb. So you need to go to another tomb. But before you can go to the next tomb he happens to leave you behind and you are stuck fighting this big bad monster so you must fight the grievous twilight and this thing is the easiest of the three bosses you will be fighting in this quest today and I happen to have assistance lucky me not really planned but I think you could easily take it by yourself if you wanted to Now, before you leave, make sure you've searched every single urn in the entire place. It is by far the only way you're going to make money. If you're not searching the urns, then you're not going to be making any money. It's very important that you're searching these urns and you're looking at every little thing. If you find anything that has any value, make sure to take it. Now, you need to go to back to Elf Betta the Shy. He said that the scroll was not about Dreloth too. It pointed toward Veloth too. You better get moving if you're going to help my nurses. Veloth tomb is on the west coast, just south of Nysus. And she'll tell you that you need to go to Veloth tomb. This happens to be by Hynus or Genus, however you would like to say it. And when you go back here, you're going to happen to find that your little buddy got trapped. Agony, divisible by three. Try pushing the sixth panel from the left, or the third panel, or maybe the eighth panel. Any of the panels in a position that's divisible by three. Narciss getting stuck behind a locked door means that you have to find the correct plate. For me, it was the one third to the right. So he tries to tell you that you need to do in numbers of three, but I just simply did 
on the right, the third one on the right. So just play around with it. Nothing happens. If you get him wrong, he just gets shocked. So it's not a big deal. Now, after you have freed him, you need to find a secret passage, which is very simple. Just run down the hallway to the passage. And then if you look around the room, you'll see that there's a heart that, harp that you can play. And when you play it, it the strings are silent. So he comes up with this fantastic idea to honor all of the gods. Now, simply one thing you must note is that the book is so simple to read after you collect these pieces just follow my guide it doesn't matter now the things you can pick up is a hand mirror you can pick up an arrow a goblet and some fine grain you have to give these offerings to the ancient tombs in order to figure out whatever Narsdren had in mind now you can read this book of the honored ancestors and it gives you a description of who they were but it just gives you a little bit of a hint, enough of a hint to tell you what to put on their tombs. Now, the tomb of Valne Veloth, sorry, is a goblet because she poisoned her enemies. And then Lilrath Veloth is a mirror because she was so beautiful. And then on Andre Veloth, an arrow because he was a fierce warrior and known for his combat. And then Elms Veloth, she has fine grain because she was the carer and the feeder of the family she gave everybody food now after you've done this and you play the harp you get a new entrance and it's like the 15th secret entrance in this place and you go down there and of course Naris is excited because of his accomplishment but you're gonna have a bunch of enemies to fight and just fight them real quick you're gonna have to go through the tombs there'll be wraiths and bone flayers and a bunch of skeletons and stuff like that nothing too bad until you get to this part right here towards the very end now I want to remind you at this point in time you need to be looking again through all of the urns after you've killed hunger which is for some reason his name I guess he's hungry I don't know but he is kind of a, a hard boss because he has people that spawn in to help him out but when he's not fighting you he, he's getting someone else to help him and he has these really nice attacks so he's kind of difficult not the hardest boss yet though and then he doesn't really have anything on him which is kind of disappointing like I said make sure to search all of the urns because there is a ton of them and they have a bunch of lock picks a bunch of ash just a bunch of stuff that you're gonna be able to sell or use Another series of war. That's a rather ungrateful attitude. After I graciously agreed to take you under my wing. If you don't let me out, however, we won't be able to use the key I found in here. I'm quite certain it opens the way. Now, if you run back up there, you're going to discover that Naris Drin has gotten stuck again. And he needs you to push another pr plate to free him. Now, I had the second one on the left, so it was pretty simple. I hit a couple wrong, though, and it wasn't a big deal, but... After you're done with that, you have a puzzle to solve, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You pick up a map, and it tells you what to do, because one of the floor tiles you cannot see, so you use the map to help you with the first two, and then everything else is visible to you. So I'm just going to show you really quick the pattern. I'm not going to go over it. It's the Oblivion symbol, the S, the Schwarzkopf-looking symbol, un unfortunately, and then it goes the, the Pitchfork-looking one, the M, and then some y weird... U and then an N and then when you get back here Naris will have for some reason taken this skull off which activates guess what another secret entrance it's pretty crazy that we keep finding these secret entrances but anyway you're gonna find another tomb which seems very barren at the beginning but he's very confident that there is treasure here so we're gonna keep going on there's a bunch of skeletons to fight. They're not really tough, but they're usually in groups of two or three. So there's a lot to fight. But I got a bunch of good loot off of these skeletons. So it's not not bad at all. Uh, not wasting a whole bunch. Make sure to level up your abilities when you're fighting these guys. But get to talk to him one more time. This part of the structure dates back to before the time of the Dunmer as we know them. Isn't... And then you get to fight Matricha... Ra Tehila, however you say his name, and this is by far the hardest boss you have to fight in this quest, and probably so far I've fought in this game. He has four or five skeletons helping him at all times, and then he has a ton of health, and he has that one stomp attack where he deals a ton of damage, and it's like a full circle around him, so you have to try to jump away from him as fast as you possibly can, and he'll mess you up. He is one bad guy, and... 
Um, he's a bad guy at that. So after you do kill him, though, he gives you quite a good amount of loot. I got these really nice iron caresses of health, and it helped me out, you know. Uh, I could sell my old caresses, and I had new ones to get, so it's nice. Now we get to go into the... Upon entering the treasure vault, you are soon to unfortunately understand there's no treasure there. For whatever reason, Naris Dren, the greatest person ever, uh, was wrong. So, now what to do is the real question. What are we supposed to do? And I'm not sure even he knows, so he has to blame it on somebody. And of course, he has to blame it on you. He says, Apprentice, it's your fault. And... You know, it's it's kind of messed up. So sometimes you just got to tell him, you know what, buddy? I'm not putting up with this. Obviously don't have the attitude and temperament necessary to make great discoveries. You've ruined my expectations. So when he blames it on you, you can tell him, didn't I read in one of your books that there is something in the well? And he'll say, oh, yes, you're a genius. Narciss Dren in the well of gold. One of my earliest adventures. Why didn't I think of that? I take back everything I said. You are a good apprentice. Now, let's see what they hid away in that old well. So, tell him, go look at it, buddy. Go look a little closer and see what you can find. And it doesn't really look like there's anything in that well, but he believes it. So, maybe you can just give him a little shove to help him out. I'm not sure. But, you know, yep. Yeah, he's in there. Uh, it's fun because he was such a jerk the entire time and then he blames you again he tells you you're a horrible apprentice or whatever and then he gets mad at you and you can go talk back with elf betta and tell her that you have helped him out you kind of got to lie to her you tell her he wanted to go check another hole in the ground which is true enough and it's funny enough she gives you 114 gold and the paladins of the warrior's poet is what i got but not necessarily what you will get but you also unlock an achievement, which is called Naris's Apprentice. Now, I don't know if you guys care about achievements, but if you do, there you go. Now, I don't know if you really registered how long this quest was, but it was long. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I put a lot of time and effort into this video. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is a very, very different form of video than I've made in the past. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Don't play a sign off. Oh. <gasps>